Osio Dohiju, hey, welcome back. So I am really excited. So this week I am calling USS Batfish Week. Uh, I ordered a shirt a while ago from the USS Batfish uh, Memorial Association, and as you can see, I'm wearing my USS Batfish hat, SS310, and uh, well, the shirt came this week. So uh, I am super excited for this shirt because well, it's it's going to be awesome. Um, the USS Batfish is uh, what is and was a Baleo class submarine that fought in World War II in the Pacific. Uh, she is uh, currently residing in Muskogee, Oklahoma, and if you were watching earlier this year, there were some, uh, with the heavy rains and the flooding that happened down that way, uh, she was broke free of her moors and headed towards the trees. And they're raising money to put her back, build better mooring, and make sure that that doesn't happen again, because it's happened twice. Um, I, my family has visited the Batfish since the early 1980s, early to mid-1980s, and um, the last time we were there was like 2015, I think, 2016, 2015, somewhere in there. Um, it's about time for us to go back. There is nothing like standing on the ground and touching a World War II submarine. It, it's just unbelievable. The War Memorial Park has many other items in it. It has the, those lost on patrol that are still on patrol, a list of those. Uh, it also has uh, uh, several guns that you can sit in. Um, and then as well, there's the mast from the USS Oklahoma, which was uh, bombed during Pearl Harbor. Um, I don't know if it's a complete mast or just part of it or all that they found. I, I don't remember. However, it is there and it is very moving. They have several bombs on the, on the ground, obviously inert that you can walk around and see how big these things really were. Uh, it is a fantastic place to visit. They are not paying me. I absolutely love this submarine. It is my favorite submarine of all of them. Uh, probably because I visited when I was a kid. I've always been fascinated by submarines ever since I went to the submarine. I did not join the submarine service. I was in the Army. However, I once a year, at least, I watch Every submarine movie I can find, U-571, Crimson Tide, uh, Hunt for an October, uh, Das Boot, Operation Petticoat Junction, Ice Station Zebra, um, you name it, I probably own it or watch it once a year. That's how much I love submarine movies. Uh, submarines and Submarine Hunter Killer, some, some people don't like that movie. I love that movie. Gerard Butler, amazing. Um, the uh, the USS Batfish, however, has a short documentary, and there's one being produced. Um, at some point, I will uh, I'll go to the Memorial Park, and we'll do a walk around of what the state currently. I will leave descriptions in the uh, links in the description below, so that you can order shirts like this. You can support the War Memorials, uh, so that they can fix the Batfish back up and get her back to her her original um, moored state, so that people can visit more easily. Um, also there you can get info on the history of the batfish itself when you go inside you can see some items of uh, in the war memorial itself and you can tour the submarine um, this is a fantastic way it is a walk through um, your own walkthrough so you walk up onto the deck you walk around to the front or the back either way they have giant doors and steps that lead down not ladders you walk into the torpedo room on either side, and then you walk through the rest of the ship. It is phenomenal. I, like I said, I've been there several times. Uh, as well, um, if you want to, you can pay to spend the night on the Batfish. Uh, it, I haven't done it. It is something that eventually I would like to do. Um, that is a super unique and awesome idea. So uh, anyway, as you can tell, I'm, I'm really excited and I want to get to the shirt. Um, like I said, I bought this shirt to support the War Memorial and let's see it. So, um, oh, this is, this is amazing. So on the front, um, you can see that it has, uh, it has the USS Batfish uh, Memorial Park, uh, the War Memorial Park on it, um, and uh, that's what she looks like today. She has this 
torpedo shooting out the front. No, actually, um, she doesn't. However, uh, you can see, um, if you look where the torpedo is, the doors, uh, I'm all looking at my wrong hand, this side, the doors are gone. That is true. There are no doors on the front of the submarine, uh, on the torpedo tubes of the front of the submarine. There are six in the front and four in the back. There are none. Uh, they are gone. However, on the back of this t-shirt, on the back of this t-shirt, and this is the uh, sad and complicated um, aspect of the war memorial. It is a war memorial. Um, it is not just a war memorial for those in the United States or the Allies. It is a war memorial for all those who died during the war itself. Um, however, these on the back are the sinkings by the USS Batfish. Um, it includes the ship silhouette and the year, uh, the date, and you know the month, day, year that it was done, and whoever made this T-shirt. Um, the uh, this is a phenomenal T-shirt. Um, I absolutely love it. I love this T-shirt so. Um, like you said, I will be putting all those links in the description below, and if you want one, please absolutely do so. If you don't want one and you just want to support the fact that the USS Batfish needs to be repaired so that more people can enjoy it. She's been there for 45 years now, since 1970, 70 or 71, somewhere, somewhere in there, so um, almost 50 years. So. If you want to support her, then please, by all means, do so. Um, like I said, we've been doing that for a long time. Uh, if you don't like this video, hit dislike. Uh, please go ahead. And if you don't like it and why, uh, please comment why you didn't like it. If you like it, please hit like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and uh, so that you can receive notifications. As always, until next time, dodo de